this myself. Welcome to the Big Honker Podcast brought to you by Pacific Game Calls. I'm Jeff Stanfield with the world famous Andy Shaver. That's right. First wow. guide, uh first guide meeting of the year, first guide round table of the year. And we started out with jamming to some tone low. And we got a lot to cover. Some wild thing. I don't know nothing about that. We've got a lot to get to. <laughs> with us today. In a short amount of time. We're gonna have three guides with us today. Josh Stoner. Hello. Josh the Stud Moore. Stud. Mm. Stud. We're calling Emphasis. him the stud. Uh, allegedly. allegedly. Stud. Nope. Allegedly. And Logan, the Amish kid wonder, Bueller. <laughs> so. Big Yoder. Everybody's in house. We started hunting on Saturday. Everybody showed up here anywhere from Tuesday to Thursday. Start working on Saturday, and we had some good, we had a great hunt, a good hunt, and we had the studs hunt. Yeah, not good. Then on Sunday, we had a. Great hunt, and Stud, I think, Stud uh, flipped went over with, to Andy. Stud went with Stoner. No, I went with Stoner. And and Stoner pulled you through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then today mm-hmm. was the first of the veterans are here. We got a, 24 veterans are here. We did a veterans hunt for three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We had two absolutely great hunts today. Right. Do you contribute you doing a good job today by the Amish boy wonder hold it, pulling you through, or was it strictly on you? Or is it a team group effort. effort? Team effort. Good. I like that because yeah. we are a team around here. And the clients help too. Yes. Do you want to talk about your season, but since what has gone on in your life since you left here? Has your dad beat up anybody's dads lately? No, no. Nope. Everybody's safe. Is Everybody's it, safe. <laughs> have you threatened anyone's dads? Nope. 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 People are going to ask, did your, now you and your girlfriend, fiance, y'all are broke up now, right? That is correct. So when she, did y'all break up? Big, I'm a free bird. When did y'all break up? You went home in February, February 1st, approximately. How long did this experiment last? I don't know till did did April? you break did you break up with her or did she break up with you? How I broke up with her. Oh, was girl. it was it never the same after you got home after the incident with her dad? You yeah. never you never recover from that. I feel like yeah. Yeah. yeah whether you say it did or not, there no, there's no way that will just we'll that just, just leave hangs it at right that there. Huh? But, but we'll when, just leave it at that. But then. did you when did you break up though? Was it like, like March, April, April, March, April? April? So you got the turkey season. April, basically. May, yeah. Right, and then you just realized. Does she? This is a Does she battle. contact you anymore? No, no, we don't. We haven't talked since. Then. You're kind of cold hearted. You can just cut a girl off real quick. We've noticed around here. You got to. Yeah, I mean, you just like nip it in the bud. Like if you got a boyfriend, don't call me, or whatever stuff like that. And you are just killer. I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't do nothing, man. <laughs> just, I'm just, just quick. I'm just living. Just L I L I V I M, baby. Just yep, living. Exactly. So you and her have no contact anymore at all. Nope. I talked to her brother the other day. That's weird. So you still have contact with the family? Just her older brother. Does he think, did he agree with you last year or what you said? I won't say it because. I'm I'm not saying nothing. You have learned a lesson in life finally. <laughs> He's finally getting there. He, he passed the test. You went three whole days without saying something stupid. Well. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, that is three days. Last Friday night. Let's, let's, say let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hmm? Oh, nothing, nothing. Go ahead. What would you no, have to say? Nothing. You sure? I'm positive. Do you ever think you talk yourself into a corner? Occasionally. Okay. More than once. I, I don't think it's a question. It's more of a win. All right. What else do you want to talk about? Oh, you want to talk about something else? <laughs> how was deer? How was deer hunting? It was good. We good? killed. We killed plenty of deer. Did you shooting big deer? Yeah, we shot some big deer. Now you got to hunt with a celebrity, right? You hunted with Hannah Barron, right? That's right. Yeah. And you put her on a big deer. It was a good deer, yeah. What does she really like? I mean, like, you, you got to know her. We don't know her like the way you know her. So what's she like? She's a nice person. A nice person? Just she's like, attractive. Just like one of us. Yeah. Is she as attractive in person as she is, you know, with her noodling? She's a good-looking girl. She's a good-looking girl. Did you see yeah. any, like, tips and tactics on, like, noodling? No. Nothing like that? No. Are you going to noodle this off season? 
Uh, maybe me and a couple of the guys might go down there. So, uh, so you and a guy, a couple of guys are going down there to go noodling. I think so. We might try to. She's a cool chick. She's got a great accent. I love that. So she, she, and she's a true hunter. She comes across as a real sportsman or sportswoman. Yeah, they're legit. Her so she, she legit. legitimately is a hunter. Like there's some of them chicks out there that go out and they shoot something and they stage it to make it look like they oh. do. She seems like the real deal. Yeah, they're they're pretty legit. Well, you said her dad's pretty damn cool, would not he? Yeah, her Jeff is cool as shit. Yeah. So He's, you're not worried at all about like sticking your hand in that hole and just whatever catches it will just grab a hold and you're good with it. As long as they've been doing it, they haven't ran into a snapping turtle or nothing in the holes. So if I'm the <sighs> one fool that's unlucky enough to do that, I mean, you don't want to stick your hand in that hole and like something grab back. I mean, what do you think the chances are? What are the percentages of people? How big are the cat? It's like sixty pounds, aren't they? I don't know. I think they catch like 30s and 40s. Oh. That's you still just, a big fucking fish. Fuck yeah. Fighting yeah. you the whole way? Arm. Yeah. I mean, Not good. Do you like being underwater? I don't mind it. I mean. Well, see, I like water and stuff, and I ain't doing that shit. I'm telling you right now, I'm out on that. If that was a man card thing, I'd lose my man card. I can't hold my breath that long. <laughs> if if you like. keep if you keep me in the fresh water, I'm fine. That's when I hit the, the salt the water. Salt. Yeah, oh, but you can't see. Yeah, fuck that. Them lakes, they're, they're going in. They're not crystal no, it's clear. Mud. Yeah, I'm no. I don't like that shit. You no. can't see your hand. Mm-mm. No, I, fuck that. I don't like stick my hands in places. I don't know where it's going. Like we went to, uh, shit. Where'd we go? In Mexico. Cancun, Cancun is Cancun. clear. Yeah, you can see there. That's I, fine. That's that didn't different. Bother me. Did you see the video the guy sent us of that girl swimming with them freaking sharks? Yeah, mm-hmm. apparently she does that all the time. Fuck. Is that. it that Ocean Ramsey chick? Yes. Was it her? Was that her? is her. Yes. Yeah. She, I think she takes people out for like showing that sharks she's not are taking safe me out. And... So that they're safe. They tried to bite her fucking flipper off. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Is that the one where she's climbing oh, out of the boat? Oh, yeah. And that shark comes right out. And that up? bull shark like biting her flippers. That yeah. Guy, no. That guy shared it to the podcast yes. group. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's no way in no, hell I'm doing that, that shit. Mm-mm. No. There are a lot of tours I'd go on, but that ain't one of them. Sharks are no go for me. Now, I wouldn't mind being in a cage. When they, when they come up and feed That's them. different. You That's seen right. that movie 47 meters down or whatever? It's a movie. It's a movie. <clears throat> Based on it true still events. happen. Mm, don't ask me. Test your luck it. with that, that chain holding you up. That, I, I, I'm in the cage. I'm all right. Yeah, but you if that cable snaps, you're sinking to the bottom. There's an opening in the top. You can go right out of it. Then you're no longer in a cage. You're open water. Well, if I had to choose between <laughs> drowning on the bottom of the fucking ocean yeah. or getting out of a cage, I'll there's, swim with some sharks. There's only so much air that you got in those yeah, tanks. Yeah, I'm coming up. But do they have tanks in those? Fight or flight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. How do you think you stand underwater in them? Well, don't they submerge it like three quarters so you can bob up and down? No, most of the time they stick you down in the water and you, you're down there feeding I'm, sharks. Yeah, I'm oh, sure there's they? some that you can, you know, pop up and get some air, but most of them are the tanks are that. If you think of it this way, when you're down there with great whites fucking around, that'd be the same as rolling around on the fucking in the Arctic with a polar bear. Why? Um, you know? But yeah. with a cage, I mean, you got, you're a, you in got there a cage at, between you. You're in their element. No, but the people that are swimming like oh, that Oh, just chick, free swimming? You know, why don't you right. just run up and slap a polar bear on the ass and ring around the rosy with the son of a bitch? It's going to eat your ass. <laughs> Ain't nothing fun about that. I mean, that's what you're playing. You're on the apex, I don't know. you know, of, of a predator and you're jacking with them in their element. That's like people that get bit sharks, you know? Well, you're in their backyard. I know? feel like there's a lot of things that I would do. Fucking with sharks ain't one of them. No. 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 I ain't got balls big enough for that. Here it is. Ocean Ramsey swims with a great white shark. Mute. Mute. Where's the mute button? Where's the video? I'm trying to pull it over, but I'm trying to mute it first. Can you mute it on your computer? There it goes. Ocean Ramsey. Oh, See, no, that's dude. a whole Look bunch at that of thing. fuck you. Look at it. Just swimming by it. With it's a like lot a, of other people doing that. It's like a damn school bus. Now, did It'd you, be my luck the fucking dolphin would be the one that got me. <laughs> oh, fuck. I think they're the more dolphin aggressive. dolphin would get me. <laughs> How'd Andy go? Old Flipper got his ass. While swimming next to a great white shark, a dolphin ate him. But that's a big-ass shark, too. Girthy. Don't, don't uh... Don't dolphins kill great lakes? Uh, supposedly they can, but I saw a video of a killer whale that this dolphin was jumping in the air, and that some bitch hit it in midair and flipped it and killed oh, it. Oh, I That's saw true. that too. Yeah. So what is this doing? What is it? What are they doing? A whole bunch of fuck you. There is no way in hell I am out doing that shit. 
Are y'all going to be swimming with the Great Whites today? Well, honey, have fun. Look at how long she can hold her breath, though. She's been underwater the whole time. Well, she's in shape. <coughs> she must be. That. Look at this. That is just crazy. She's still underwater. Is there a dollar amount that would make you do this? What no. is that? Is that a barracuda? Yeah. Absolutely not. Yes. No, those are dolphins. Yes. And you what, is, what, 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 what are these dolphins doing? They're going to get eaten. Mm. I don't think they really worry about them. What's your dollar amount, Jeff? Oh, for me to do something like that, it would be legitimately a million dollars cash. I'd have to do that shit. What about you, Andy? Uh, man, hundred thousand. I'm saying hell no. Hundred thousand. You're saying half a half a million. I would pro- I would consider it. At You'd half have a million. to. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of money. No money for you, Stoner. Fuck no. <laughs> Not no amount of money. Nope. The Powerball. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. for a million bones, I'm doing that. Legitimately, do you, now, do, do you have to grab it like she is? Because would, if you do, yeah. I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, you got to touch it. I would do that for a million dollars. I don't think for a million dollars I would crawl that crawl up that tower by my house. It's 400 feet high, 40 stories. I don't think I could do it. So here's my question: Do they find oh, these man. that have already been like fed? Like, do they feed them before and then she jumps in? Like, I think they way, chum the water to get them in. That way, they guarantee that they're not hungry. Mm. I don't have a clue. I don't think that big son bitch you're going to feed him enough. It's going to keep him open. I mean, that's a my two thousand pound fish, probably. I don't think I could hold my breath that long because I would be so scared that this thing is going to bite me at any minute. Like I would just be hyperventilating. You'd have a heart attack down there. Yeah, she just yeah. How the fuck is she breathing? She's not. I mean, she's just (laughs) she's probably a free diver. Or is this this on a loop? Well, that's probably on a loop. But she probably could hold her breath two or three minutes. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it keeps looping. Yeah. Crazy though. Uh, yeah, that's nuts. He now, did me. you say that you had a video of some dude swimming with a seven foot rattlesnake? Yes. What? Yeah. And it's his pet? Yeah, I'll find him real quick. That's some bitch will die from getting bit by a rattlesnake. Yeah. Um he's on TikTok. He's got a lot of tattoos. Okay. <laughs> that, uh, that says a lot. That damn bastard. Every time I see a tattoo guy, I know he's a snake lover. Not, find his not name. this guy. Um it's going to take me a second. Oh, my shirt's over here. You know what's crazy? Everybody came in, and we're doing a meeting. And hold on. And everybody seemed, it was just like nobody left last year. I mean, you came in talking a lot. and <laughs> Saying more than you probably should. Yeah, so it was just yeah. like old days. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Do you think you'll ever learn your lesson on that? No. On this, I will. Maybe not. You, you will? Off the podcast. Not off the podcast? Yeah. But you mean being on the podcast? Yeah. So you don't want to be on here no more? No, that's not what I'm saying. I mean, I don't. What are you trying to say? I don't, I don't know. So there that it is. That is freaking nuts. Tyler Nolan. Where is that? I don't know. Does it matter? He's on TikTok. But yeah, it's like his pet. Batman. That's a rattlesnake? Yeah, Eastern Diamondback. Those are the ones that are really bad. That's Batman. You see how fucking fat that thing is? Now, they're, they got to feed him. Feed him before they fuck with him. They are what swimming the? with a seven foot rattlesnake that must weigh twenty pounds. Oh, he's huge. Real, he's just he's just an old sweetheart. Is is all that he is. What if, can you take the fangs out of them things? <clears throat> yes, you yeah. can. What if they probably did that? Then you think so? I don't. Think I bet. So. I bet you not. There's no way they're that stupid. <laughs> they, that's what a lot of people say when the things you do. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't I like don't. snakes that much. No, well, I don't, I don't get it. What the fuck? What what? I don't know that guy. Like, that. like he's re- he's respecting it. The the friend is like, so I don't know. I'm he's, sorry, I don't. Mm, I there's don't. no way. If that snake was alive though, that Tony put on the corner by the doors the other day, mm-hmm. I'd have been dead four times. I didn't even see it. He's got no situational awareness, Josh. Josh does. <laughs> We've noticed that already, anyways. <laughs> that makes <laughs> many times. I mean, I'm not shocked by that. I that was dumb as shit. What Tony did. Because one of them girls could have done that shit. God, been Falling awful. backwards, yeah. hit their heads. Yeah, it's, that was dumb. Did he do it to scare somebody? or he just? Oh, fuck around? yeah. He thought oh. it was being funny. No, it was in the corner like where the trash can oh, was. Was it door. Tony or Harry? It was right there. It was Tony. Oh. He was on the ground. Tony. Not oh, in the trash can. oh, I thought it was always in the trash can. No, no, no. no. no, no, no. Jeff, no, no. Been Jeff told him to. I walked up and I and I saw it. I was looking for Ollie. I thought it was alive. And I was like, oh, fuck. I was on the phone with uh, maybe Ramsey Russell. I can't remember. I saw something in the water. No, Jay Thomas at Blindgrass. I was talking to him. I was like, oh, I got to go. I got a rattlesnake here. And I thought it was a live rattlesnake. I'm yeah. grabbing Ollie to get Ollie back. And then I looked to notice the head whatnot. 
And then I look over at dumbass, and he's sitting in his truck videoing me. <laughs> With that so goofy smile? Yeah. yeah. I was like, what are you Looks thinking? Looks like the vinegar face. <laughs> yeah. He fucking can't video anyway. And I what, go, what is what is that deal? He sent a video today. I, I couldn't. There's a bunch of geese on that field. That why you know, why are it only his phone. videos that are screwed up? I, I have no idea. It's the only reason I knew there were birds in that video is because I turned up the sound. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason I knew. So he was videoing you and you didn't bite. No, I saw the damn head was off of it. I go, that's really stupid. I go, what if one of the girls comes here and they get hurt? Huh? And then huh? Josh, you know, he's like, oh, damn, got me four times. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see it. Tucked in the corner. I don't like snakes at all anyways. Absolutely at all. Oh, I hate them. We had a situation in our town a couple of years ago. My my brother-in-law thought he would scare our, one of our highway patrolmen here. And <clears throat> so what he done was he went and took a rattlesnake. And this was a long, long time ago. And he took it by his back, back gate and he had to take the trash out. And you had to walk by the gate and put it and strung it up under his trooper car. So when he was walking out the back gate to get in his trooper car, he'd see it and jump shit. Well, the guy's wife was eight months pregnant, oh. and she was went to take some some trash out, and she got to it, and I think she urinated on herself, oh, scared man. the hell out of her. Well, she he didn't know that guy was out of town. He was, so he had the deputy, one of the deputies come over there to get it, and he goes to shoot the damn thing, and he shoots at it, and a fucking shotgun blast blows off and shoots and hits his door, so he's got bullet oh, holes no. in his car of his door. So anyways... Then got word around what had happened, and then my brother-in-law felt bad. Well, the lady is a really nice lady, good friend of ours and stuff. She did not talk to him for about 10 years. She's still <laughs> pissed off at him about that. And uh, trick goes bad. You they imagine? do all the time. Yep. So I told Tony, I go, that's not a very good idea. But I do not like snakes at all. Yeah. No. At all. That's not I something I'd know. mess with. No. Nothing, there's nothing about it at all. Okay, let's talk hunting a little bit. <clears throat> Josh Stoner. Sir. Mr. Consistency, three days in a row, three good hunts. He is. Yep. Um, the bird's working good, do you think, right now? Because we had no wind today at all. And I was really – the first morning we have frost, and we didn't have a lot of wind the first morning with frost, did we? No. Mm, no. And then today we had zero wind. Pretty much. But the thing was, the birds this morning worked the best that I've had the last three days. We, had a really we didn't nice, have any wind. We had a really nice group. And the thing was – like our hide today, this morning was immaculate. I mean, I mean, you can't get hardly any better than that. All the edges of the fields now have tumbleweeds in them, and they're all grown up. And you can really set those a frames in there. And when you get all the tumbleweeds, they're all green and you know the reddish color still right now. So you can just get in there and hide. You blend in real you well. You blend in really, really good. And they just, I don't. You're right there where you wanted to be. Even we hit on the edge. But like Andy said, you could see where they had been going all the way up to that edge. There was shit and, you know, broken peanuts everywhere where they'd been eating. So they're comfortable being that close to the edge like that, and I just think that's where they wanted to be. Well, I can tell you one thing. We have a we have a text that we keep up with everything in the morning. Yeah. It's called uh, – what's the name of that text? Shh. It's, it's shh. Now, it was yeah, something it's else. Shh. I can't remember what it was. But yeah, no. I have anyway, to look back. Yeah, I have to look back too. But anyways, do that. We, so I get on the text, and every morning I get updates, and I leave – Usually I try to leave around first light. This morning I knew the birds were going to fly late, so I thought I can be 15, 20, 30 minutes late. Well, I was fixing to leave when I got uh, Logan's first text, four birds, five birds, three birds. Y'all kept adding to y'all's total. Yeah. Kept going on and on. I'm thinking, fuck, Andy and Josh ain't killed shit. Because everybody always puts what oh, they kill on there. Oh, dream so team I, over I was, here. I was out east of town at a peanut field watching birds land in it, and I thought, shit, I'm going to go down and find out. I've got to find out where we're going to hunt anyways tomorrow. And I'm like, son of a gun. And the birds were flying a mile high this morning. Because yes. of the, the yeah, we no noticed wind. that they were flying high. <laughs> so I'm looking Believe at, me, we saw. Yeah, I was looking <laughs> in the stratosphere, and I thought, oh, it's gonna be suck. We have one great hunt and one shitty hunt. But you know, some somebody, of those birds we had break down and come, come right in. Yeah. Well, then I get to the field and I notice Lou's dicking around out front, and Andy's nonchalantly walking back. I thought, well, they it's don't act like time. somebody that they don't act like somebody ain't killed no fucking birds yet. There's birds <laughs> flying and shit. I'm like, what is going on? So. Looking through the binoculars. What did you wear today? Did you have a white T-shirt on or something? Mm -hmm. It's hot. I thought you did. You had a white T-shirt on. I thought, there's the old Mikey Soberano camouflage down <laughs> there, just white. <laughs> and I called Andy. I was like, have y'all not shot nothing yet? Oh, we need three birds. I was like, thank God. I said, well, thanks a lot for updating, you dickheads. I is that what, what we needed? Five? Well, well, I was like, every... Yeah, the thing that had happened is like we we shot a couple and then we had a really really nice group do it like yeah. ten just right in the kill hole Centered set up, up perfectly fifteen yards and they mowed them every one of them down and I was like we're gonna get one more of those 
We're going to text everybody that we're done, and that's that's all they're going to hear from us today. And then you called and ruined it. It was, it was yeah. one of those groups that you get up and like walk out of the blind. I even turn around. I was like, that's good for the soul right there. And just they're just one of all groups. nine of the ten are just laying like within, within this five, table. ten yards. Yeah. Well, so I go. So then I, I go down to where y'all are yeah. to watch y'all hunt and y'all are walking. Where what, did y'all not take a dog today with y'all? No. I noticed that. Why? I don't know. We okay. have two dogs from we Double T dog British Kennels here. That are great dogs to that use. Stoner loves using them. And the only reason I didn't take Andy this morning, Adam. or Adam with Andy this morning, is because he had Lou. Yeah. You know? yeah. They're there for you to use. Well, I didn't want to mess around with grabbing a kennel or any of that. So anyways, I look up and you two fools are retrieving geese out of your hole. And I was kind of like, what the hell's going on here? And I knew how many y'all needed. But yes, when y'all needed five, they needed three. And then I heard them have a rip while we were sitting there and I figured we yeah. were done. Did you know that we were shooting? So like we weren't fooling you. We could hear you shoot. I didn't know if you were killing nothing. Oh. I've yeah, heard shots before with no. the first morning, yeah. that did not matter. We shot a bunch. They just did not hit a bunch. <laughs> yeah. And these guys can shoot, right? Yeah. A friend of mine in... Uh, Oklahoma, that's an outfitter, took a bunch of veterans duck hunting the other day. He told me they shot 185 times and killed 11 ducks. Well, one of the guys in the group is like a state champion. I mean, it's skeet shooting, but state champion skeet shooter. Legit or like if you told us you were? Legit. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I don't really know the guy, so who knows if it's legit or not. Uh, we just with you. I don't ever You've know. You've had some tall sure. tales. But too, he, he even yeah, said, he's like, true. I mean, it's just a skeet shooter. Well, he's a state champion. I mean, <laughs> right. He's the best at what he does. Would you brag, no, that's good. Would you brag about your conquest? I mean, are you that kind of guy? No. You wouldn't brag about your conquest? No. Okay. You keep them to yourself. Yeah. Like You just, you know, humbly know, like, hey, I did that. Not everybody needs to know about he's it. He's a lie. Yeah. Ain't no way. So That's you, good though. I admire I admire people that you know have all of these accolades and all of these accomplishments and all of these like you know stake my flag on this mountain type stuff and they just keep it to themselves. That that's impressive of them. Yeah, it's a good right. thing I don't have any. Yeah, yeah. I don't either. Well, I'd lie. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I would. Yeah, I don't so, got nothing to talk about. Okay, so let me ask you this, Hannah Barron. Okay, I'm gonna go back to her. Okay, oh, Jesus. Okay. Do, do they tip well? They tip pretty good. Yeah. Are they good tippers? Yeah. So like above average or average tippers. Because they, they're not, she's not a guide or anything. She just goes on places all the time. I, I mean, average. Okay. I, was I mean, you get some of those, uh, do you, uh, I guess you call it a personality. Like yeah. in the, yeah. you know, social influencer. media world, influence or whatever name you want to call it. Some of them, some people like it, some people don't. They don't feel the need to have to tip or like yeah, that's do why I was, any. I was curious. Well, the messed up part is they hunt for free. Because it's, you're using their publicity that on the platform they have. We have one that a TV personality, whatever, that comes and hunts with us up there, and he don't tip. Do Now, they do give fringe benefits, though, right? No. No fringe benefits, like Mountain Dew or anything like that? Are there well, I mean, are you going to have to, like, when you go noodling, when you noodle with her, uh, are you going to have to pay anything for that? Or is we'll it just... find out when it comes, I guess. I don't know. So that would be a perk. Have to pay for a hotel. And... Right, gas out there right. and stuff like that. That makes sense. Maybe yeah, but... she'll let you stay with her. Probably not. You don't think so? They live in Maybe a tiny dad. Home. Stay with Jeff. There yeah. you go. Maybe Jeff. There you go. Maybe Jeff. Yeah, that'll work out great. I mean, they've gotten really famous over noodling, and that's crazy. Because I, when they I first it got wasn't even on purpose. Just she caught a fish in a hole, and then all of a sudden blew up one day. Well, she's wearing a bikini, and she's an attractive girl, and she's got a really cool accent. So that happens. I mean, like if we put you in a bikini and shit on there, it wouldn't go that far. No, no. I got to shoot. The gun of my dreams. Now I just got to find one. Oof. What'd you shoot? The Damn. Super Black Eagle. Three. Number one. Oh. Um, oh. Somebody, little the, somebody oh, tried to sell me one the other day. Are well, you serious? I had to look through my notes. Somebody was, had one the other nice, day. Nice shooting gun. An OG. It's solid, but it's not heavy. Swings nice. Little. Cycles well. Don't Sarecki have like a hundred of those? I don't know. So the guy, he gave me the gun case, and he said, here, give this to Andy when he gets up here. I said, what's this? He said, oh, this is little Debbie. No, that's Deborah. <laughs> big Deborah. He's got little Debbie. Oh, big, yeah, big Debbie or big Deborah, whatever he said. I said, what the hell is that? He <laughs> said, oh, an original Super Black Eagle. I said, H and K? <laughs> he said, no, it's the one right after that. Still got the flat rib and everything. Fuck, the thing was nice. It was nice. What can you buy one for? Oh, you can't. Oh, I bet If you found one, like, you, oh, shit, probably 12, 1300 bucks. You think? But that thing was a tank. It felt good in my hand. Could you hit a bird with it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that gun's magical. 
I hit it. No shit. <laughs> they hit the bird. I did hit the bird. Did it but, die? No, we saw feathers fly. <laughs> okay. It was Le- going away. I was, I was playing cleanup. Leach host told me, he said, let me tell you something, Jeff. He said, I've hunted all over. Everywhere. Lots of famous people, lots of regular guys, lots of good dudes and bad dudes. And he goes, I've never seen anybody shoot as bad as Andy does. <laughs> he didn't say that. He did. No, he did It was not. terrible. Jesse was out shooting Andy. She How did. How does that make you feel, Andy? She was good. It was true. It's true, though. Yeah, but Jesse's an athlete. Uh, she is an athlete. It's not fair, though, because Andy was shooting with me and Jesse, and so he doesn't look good at that situation. You know, it's just not a good, a good deal. Andy could fit in with some of these groups. Mm. Yeah. You get a group of me, you're going to be out there all day. <laughs> do you think it's because you, t- you you try too hard when you shoot, or what's the deal? He overthinks it. You I think might. so? I don't know. Well, that's like this morning when he shot that old Benelli. He was like, I don't I don't see wasn't even aiming. I just wanted to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can do that out in the backyard. Yeah. That's what I did. I was going to ground swat a. a cri- well, we had one cripple you, today. Did you see all the freaking dove over there? Yeah. Yeah. Good lord! When I pulled yeah. in this morning, right there up front, that thing was covered in dove. We got one week of dove season left, but can't go dove hunting in the evening over there because we're goosing no. peanuts. They uh, we had a big group of pintails working. Well, they kind of jacked with some specks a little bit. We started calling at him, trying to work the pintails, really, because the specks were following them. And I forget who it was to my right. He was like, well, you know, there's we need some geese more. Like, why are you calling to the pintails? I was like, well, they're fucking leading them. Like, yeah. you don't we're going to follow ducks? where they go. You don't want to shoot Plus, a handful of ducks? it'd be nice to shoot some ducks. And the way you guys are shooting, you probably shoot 10 out of the group. That yeah, came in. exactly. Yeah. I can't find any that are for sale right now, but yeah. I will be looking. I know... Um, you know who's pretty good about that? I think... Pyatt. Logan? On, yeah, I think he gets on like gun broker and he's pretty good at finding his guns. You have to really? ask him. He'll be here Saturday or Sunday. Hey, uh, did y'all see Indy's football coaches got fired? Frank Rock? My football coach. Indies. Oh, oh, oh these oh, Indies. Indies. No, 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 no. The Colts. Colts just fired Frank Rock. They've got Sam Elliger quarterback. They ought to fire their general manager for for getting Philip Rivers, just, Carson Wentz, and now Matt Ryan. Didn't they just Resign a deal with Andrew Luck? Huh? I didn't see that. No. Or unless that was like I think fake was, news. I think that was that uh, whatever that side is. That NFL those, memes. The fake but I don't shit. understand. Oh. It, well, it, at this point in time, you never know. We're yeah. coming up on week ten. What do you get out of that? Well, how much better can you get in in the seven weeks that are left with an with an interim coach? That's true. I mean, they, unless they think they can still win the division. Well, no, they're in with Tennessee. Nebraska Tennessee football. Winner. They've got, yeah, <laughs> no exactly. Kidding. But I, I don't, I don't get the firing of him. I mean, you've got, you got Sam Elliger. I'm a Texas guy. Sam's a Texas guy. He's not an NFL quarterback, and it shows. Andy was no. right. Andy said it, he'll be terrible, and it's a disaster. They have no quarterback. They were better at least chance with winning with Matt Ryan. I don't know what's going on with Matt Ryan, but Sam Elliger is not the answer. Um, Justin Fields has really improved. And they're scoring a lot of points, and. I don't, I don't, I just, there's not a lot of kids coming out of college right now that look good. You got to have someone that's mobile and shit, and you got to be able to throw the ball. Like last night in the Tennessee Kansas City game, Tennessee, if they would have had a quarterback, would have won that game. Yeah. Right. I mean, that kid can't throw the fucking ball. You know, he can, he yeah. can run, you know, Lamar Jackson. I, you know, people are going to pay $45 million for Lamar Jackson, and they're not going to win a Super Bowl with him because he cannot throw the ball. You know, he can hit a wide open tight end. And like, he can, there's a difference in, you know, signing Lamar and having an outstanding season, you know, for the fans, the games look good, high scoring games and stuff. But it was just like the first time he went to the playoffs. He went to the first game, fucking got his ass beat, kicked out, tried it again next year. I don't care if you run for 100, 120 yards every game and throw touchdowns and this, that, and the other. If you don't do it when it counts, what the fuck good are you? How many Super Bowls Michael Vick win? Zero. Yeah. Yeah. You know? How He's, many did Trent Dilfer win? One. You can throw like, the ball and you have a good defense behind you, but you have to be able to throw the ball when you need to throw the ball. And you have to sit back there and take a three step drop and hit it. And that's what Patrick Mahomes yeah. does that them guys can't do. I'm telling you right now, with twenty two seconds left and Mahomes got the ball, <laughs> I you points. can't convince me yeah. that they're not going to get some points. Well, it's like, what was Andy saying last night about uh, Aaron Rodgers? He's like, fourth oh. quarter, minute left on the field, you got to drive down and score. Yeah, he was the guy. That's the guy that you're going to want. Right. This year, Mm-mm. what happened? I needed, I needed, there was 45 seconds left. I needed nine yards to get a 300-yard bonus out of him. That's an automatic usually. <clears throat> yeah. And then, like, but he got to 291. I was like, he might not complete another pass. 
Probably not. And he didn't. But like in, in years prior, like they're 30 yards out or whatever, you just know you're going to get nine yards. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just like with Not the Raiders year. last night, you know, if if you can get Derek Carr to get Devontae Adams, I mean, fuck, what do you have, like 40 fantasy points, 150-some yeah. yeah. receiving, two touchdowns by the first half. If you can do that with Derek Carr, how much do you think right. Rodgers misses Devontae Adams up Bunch. there? Uh, the whole town of Green Bay does. Laz- Lazard's <laughs> not bad, but he's not going to be your, you know, he was the Mr. Automatic like yeah. Devontae Adams was. That, they, there's Dobbs so many, got hurt. There's so many teams like that. Dallas Cowboys, for example, Dallas has a great defense, but they are going to struggle against a good defensive team to score points because they just yeah. can't do because they can't run the ball for one thing. And they've got one receiver, C.D. Yeah. Lamb. And well, that's that's it. Speaking of that, where, where was Aaron Jones yesterday? He, he was hurt. hurt. He hurt his ankle. ankle. In the beginning of the game or before? I guess, I guess I they, they said they kept him out for precaution, but they did x-rays really? this morning and it was not that bad. We were watching, was well, we were watching Red Zone, so you really couldn't watch the no. entire game. But. <clears throat> yeah. um, Football, there's a lot of ugly games. Ah, I mean, Tampa terrible. Bay and Los Angeles should be a 30-27 to 27 game. Yeah. You know, and I guess Tampa Bay won on the last play of the game. Yeah. Tom Brady doing Tom Brady things. Well, TB12, baby. Do you think he tries to run it one more year no. and prove himself? No. Him and Rodgers are both done, I think. I don't think Rodgers wants to go through this either. <laughs> Rogers, There's no I, way. I, God Rogers dang, I wish Jeopardy would have hired my ass. I he seen, probably wishes he would have stopped a couple years ago. I've seen so a close. meme somewhere. Where did it say? Uh, it was when Rodgers was hugging Brady, and it was like, we should have followed Roethlisberger <laughs> or something like that. I, what? I'm going to ask a question. I don't know nothing about this. It's huge news. Kyrie Irving retired from basketball today. Who's he? What? The basketball player that plays for the Nets. It's He's not. He's a younger guy. I mean, I don't know he's young. but He he's played for the COVID Cavs guy? with LeBron. Yeah. yeah. He, he's he, like, what did he say? He's done something about Jews, and I don't know what happened. Did he? He said something or, or did something, and they suspended him for five games. He said, fuck it, I retire. He's made $200 million in his life. And did a, I, I think he donates well, a lot of money, too. Well, I don't know, I don't but he's follow. the one that wouldn't get the vax. He yeah. didn't get the vax. I don't follow anything with yeah. NBA. I, I don't either, either. But it's I big no news because I saw on Twitter he retired today. He said, "Screw it, I just retire. I ain't going to do your six game suspension." And hmm. you know, I've seen a lot. There's a guy that I really like, and I like Jason Whitlock. I think Jason Whitlock's a pretty sharp guy, and he calls bullshit bullshit. He's he's like, "Where's everybody standing up for Kyrie? At? You know, they they stand up for this or that. You know, he stand up for Kaepernick, who he said didn't do shit." Why aren't yeah. you standing up for Kyrie? You know, all the black guys, we ain't standing together here. And so I'm assuming that whatever he did wasn't so bad. that I think the NBA is pretty hypocritical because the, the Nike yeah. them do all that. They get all that free labor from China and shit. Right. But they want to talk about civil rights and crap. And I think that's what this is more or less has turned into. Another he thing claims that when on. teaching slavery, schools don't mention the involvement of the Catholic Church, Arab, Eastern, East Africa, or Islamic slave trade. Or the Jewish slave ships that brought our West African Negro or Bantu ancestors to slave ports owned by Jews. Okay, what's wrong with that? It's history. It's history, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't understand that. Well, it's like the black people don't think it's all white people. Wouldn't white people yeah, just selling but slaves? Because he said that, that goes against yes. everything that's been yep. pounded into people's heads for the last yep. 10, 15 years. There's a, there's a country called Benin, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's on the African coast there. There's a family that's a construction family over there that has got millions and millions of dollars. Well, you can trace them all the way back to the slave trade. They were the first slave. They were selling slaves, their own people, mm-hmm. to the white man. But they don't ever talk about that either. When you watch Roots or something, it's just the white guys shackling people and taking them away. Yeah. Slavery was horrible, and it still is. There's still slavery going on. The Muslims have slaves now. But what he said is the truth, and I don't know why. If that's what he said, I'm trying to find everything. So they suspended him for that? They suspended him six games for anti-Semitic stuff. I got no problem with Jews. I got I got no problem with nobody. I, mean, I forgot a lot of Jewish friends. I, I don't have a problem with anybody. I got Jewish family. But history is history. You can't yeah. change it. The Germans gassed millions of Jews. I'd rather people talk about it and learn about it yes. than to try to just sweep it under a rug yep. and, you know, Drill something into somebody's head that's you know either misleading or not the truth or whatnot. I, I, Publicizing I, a film that contained deeply disturbing anti-Semitic hate, the net said the suspension will be lifted once Kyrie Irving satisfies a series of objective remedial measures. Statement from the Brooklyn Nets: I don't give a fuck what the net said. I want to see what Kyrie said. 
They're not going to show you. It's some movie that he... It's something like that. There's something... In 2017, he did say the Earth was flat, so... Well, he's not too smart on that. <laughs> See, and this is... this is, But they link that to the... Uh, to the COVID vaccine. The what? He's a flat earther. Okay. So they link... They, they, they link the, the not taking the COVID vaccine with the flat Earth and now these anti-Semitic things. So now anybody that didn't get the shot... Is a flat earther and also anti Semitic. I, I I love Jews. This is NPR. I love Jews. I think the earth is round and I didn't get a vaccine. So I got broke that mold. You did. How many people in here had the vax right now? None. None of us. How many, how many believe that the earth is round? Yeah. Are you there, Josh? That the earth is round? Yeah. Or do you think it's flat? I ain't never seen it. I mean, pictures. <laughs> so it could be flat for Holy all you know. Shit. It's round. You think so? Jeff I think, is, yeah. I don't know, but I think. <laughs> ah, damn. How Did you sure know? are we? Have you ever seen a flat globe? <laughs> no. Okay, there you go. It's round. Have you ever seen a flat earth argument, though? A little do. It makes a I lot of sense. I don't think so. It makes a lot of sense. So one guy says you can see so far on the ocean. Seven miles. It's further than that. No, it's I think it's miles. dependent on how tall you are. Oh, that's Actually. what it, I think. It, I think it was off of like a deck or something. And you shouldn't yeah. be able because there should be a, a drop every so so many miles, and you can just you can see too far. Seriously, Andy, this is your deal. Listen, I'm not a flat earther. I'm just repeating what I've heard. It's seven miles, and then you see the curvature. And if you watch in the ocean, you'll see it. You won't see you a ever, ship all the way. You only you see ever part been on of a cruise it ship, and you're going back into port. I've never been on a cruise, no. but it's the same thing. If you're on the cruise and you're looking out, it's water, 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 and they're like, we'll be arriving in two and a half hours. And then slowly but surely, you start seeing the top of fucking Miami and you're yes. coming in. It's the curvature That's of the exactly earth. That's exactly right. But I'm trying to find the flat earth method. Because I think in today's time, someone would have got to the edge and found it. You don't think so? I think it's just all you get to the edge, but it pushes you back. <laughs> there is no... Fuck. <laughs> Do you think it's a black hole on the other yeah. side? That yeah, flips you, you just like flip other. around, you're there. So if you leave San Francisco and you fly west, you don't think eventually we, you will end up in Europe? You know what? When Payne flies to Japan, just see what he sees. <laughs> yes. See if he falls ask off what something. he sees. He would absolutely have zero use for this conversation. Oh, yeah. And his brother well, right he's here, way too fucking smart. He would, have been like, <laughs> he would have been like, seriously, Andy? Andy, you're too smart for this. I'm not saying Josh Moore. We're still a deal at. So oh, you think shit. it's? You don't know for sure if it's round or flat because he's not seeing the Earth. So you think the Earth might be flat? Have you been to space? Do you know? Yeah, three times. Do you Elon or so, Okay, so here, here's my question. Do you think that they faked the moon landing? Have you seen? You talking to me? Well, yes. Any? Yeah. Do you think he they was looking faked, at you? you oh, they, no, I do not think they faked. You don't the moon think landing. so? No. What about what about the boots that he wore? Don't fit the print on the moon. I wasn't there. I I don't know. I think we went to the moon. There's a footprint from I the moon, that, and, it and then it shows his print. boot. Yeah, and it's not a. It's not the, I, his, his his the sole of his boots were flat, solid. The moon print is got has tracks ridges. on it. Yeah. What What would we gain by faking a moon landing? We would uh, show the world that we're superior to Russia because Russia was trying to beat us there. We just had Marshawn Lynch on Am Thursday Night Football talking to guys that were on the space station, riding around up there. What you does think? that have to do with the moon? Well, we went to the moon also. I will say, my well, actually, both my grandfathers worked at NASA, but one worked in communications, and he did a couple of the you know launches and stuff there, and um, he worked in Greenbelt. Maryland, which is Goddard Space Flight Center. They do a lot of the testing and engineering for stuff and had a flight control room there. And then my dad's father was an engineer for a contractor out of NASA, and they worked on a lot of stuff for, you know, whatever they'd send up there for different projects and stuff. And he's got all the patches and fucking people at work still, because my mom and my brother still work there today. And they'd run into people. They're like, oh, we worked with your grandfather, blah, blah, blah. He's a good guy. And everything that comes back on their end seemed pretty legit. So yeah, I think we I have nothing to. But why haven't we gone back? I don't know that we, I don't know if we gained We've done enough it. going yeah, what do you, there. I don't what do you think gain there's nothing We've done there. it once and yeah. there's no sense. Again. Like, it, listen, we put our flag there. There's no sense in us going back. Oh, we conquered yeah. this and let's just move on. Right, I, right, I, Josh. Right. Little, little what Josh. if you have to replace the flag? You think it gets torn up up there? Guarantee, yeah. That's probably not Meteors. even there anymore. Do you, uh, what about... Blew off with solar winds. I, I think we should, uh, or not think. I Lunar think winds. we will end up going to Mars in your lifetime. 
I don't know if we will. Elon wants time. to do it in his, and he's older than me. Well, then that maybe I'll get to see that too. But I think that's yeah, going to happen but, also. But, but, but what are they going there for? Look for precious metals? I think they're going to probably go and see what kind of elements are there. And sit there. We've, there's a lot of stuff gained by us going to the moon. I mean, there's we invented Velcro because of that. I mean, they're trying to like electric power tools, cordless power tools were, a, were invented. There's a lot of things that have benefited <clears throat> from NASA and the stuff that we've done right. there. And so I think that. I think that there's some things to learn there. Nobody trusts our government. You can't tell me all them space satellites going under, they don't have some way of shooting a nuclear bomb back towards the, the world. Oh, yeah. and I know my dad's going to listen to this, and he's going to call me like, well, goddamn, Pop didn't do that, and Grandpa <laughs> didn't do that. Like, well, that's what I remember. But anyway. So, Josh Moore, back to you, since you're the outspoken one on this podcast today. Yeah, you're the brains here. So, so oh, We're in trouble. So you think we've went to the moon, or you don't? I mean, is this something you've ever thought about? No, I can tell. I'm not going to be on the moon. What's the matter to me? How do you know one day you're you not proud be? of your country that we beat the entire rest of this flat Earth to this, you <laughs> flat, know, this Earth. flat moon? <laughs> to the flat moon. No, I mean it's cool, but <clears throat> when did it happen in 1969? Isn't that when it happened? I think first 68. 60, I think was it 68? It 68 or 69 was the first time the landing. So 30, 31 years before I was born. You don't care? You're I not mean, proud of your country? No, oh, I mean, it's great. It's okay to not be proud of your country. Like, high I mean, five. You know, would, you, would you like to be July able to... July 16th, 1969. Would you like to teleport yourself? Teleport? Oh, yeah. teleportation would be great. You'd be the, where, were the, where was the first place you'd go to? If you could know. teleport anywhere in the, in the world, where would you go? I don't know, the Bahamas? That'd be the place? <laughs> I don't know. Bahamas. The Bahamas. <laughs> Woke up. There I was. Right there in fucking, you know, Paradise Island. You know how nice it'd be, though? <laughs> Teleporting? Boss, the plane. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's the place you would go, though. I mean, that's the first one that popped in my head. I don't know. Bahamas. That's where he wants to go, Jeff. Ever Actually, Rome. Rome. Rome? Rome. I like okay. to go to Rome. Go to Italy. What go do you see the Coliseums. Okay. Coliseum. Or, just yeah. one. I don't think there's just, I think there's just one. Did you know that place... They could they could have battleship fights inside of it. That's how advanced That's a, they were. They could flood that bought that inside of it with water, and they had actual battleship fights inside of there really? with like pirate ships, and they would do that and stuff. And then they that that's just amazing the technology that those have you ever been had. there? What have you ever been there? Yeah, we was there two months ago. No, no, I've never been. No, I no. do not have any, any. I'm Italian, and I'm my family's from a town called Biergamo, Italy, and I have no I have no desire to go to Italy. I'm Michelle like wants to go, to him. so we'll go one day. But I do not have any desire. I want to go to Scotland. And I'd like to go to the North Shores or like Ireland and stuff. That's that's me. There. Scotland's That'd beautiful. Be cool. Just to drive and go in the backwood country and stuff, mm -hmm. and rent a car and drive. I'm a little nervous about driving on the wrong side of the road. That's true. But but that part the streets I are do. narrow too. Yeah. But that's where I would teleport to. I wouldn't pick the Bahamas, but hey, to each his own. Where well, would you I've, go? I've Andy? been to Scotland. I go to the Bahamas with Josh. There you go, Stoner. Where would you go? <laughs> Ireland. Ireland. See me and me and Stoner going. You two fuckers have fun in the Bahamas. I'd go to Lubbock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You could have done a lot worse Mexi in the Bahamas. New I'll give you that. I'll go to New Mexico. I'd, I'd text my mom be like, "Hey, can you make my favorite dinner?" And then just yeah. hop back, back and forth. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Sleep you, in your own bed. Do every you believe night. in that right. teleportation? Not yet. Maybe someday. Who knows? So you think one day we'll be able to do it? But today you don't think you can do it. Not, a lot of, not in my lifetime. Lot it won't of, happen. A lot of Indians or Native Americans, whatever you want to call them, they believe in that. You know, I had a guy in town tell me that. I played golf with a guy one time that believed in that, and he was telling me that he, he married an Indian lady. Teleporting? Yeah. yeah. And he said her uncle got killed teleporting. I go, huh? So, yeah. He teleported into Los Angeles and got run over on the freeway, and they killed him. Like the... Uh, I think the guy was drunk and just was walking along the road and got uh, run over. Yeah. <laughs> I think he just... Cool story. Mm. Do you believe in any of that, Andy? Teleportation? Yeah. Uh, not right now. Yeah. See? You don't believe it? No. I don't either. No. You don't think it'll ever happen? No. Uh-uh. Stoner? I, you got to bend too many things. So, like, you know, you got to bend time and space to be able to do it. And I don't think that we'll ever get there. I don't think the technology's there to, like, break down the molecules and everything of a human body and fucking put it somewhere else. If we could do some shit like that, could you imagine things they could do to fix cancer? Yeah, I mean, Cancer you think about be that. Fixed by then. Well, if if I'm just saying, if you have the ability to do something like that to teleport someone, you and to cosmetically 
change the sails. Yeah, you can. You could do engineer some things. bodies. <laughs> this is a rocket ship. No, I don't know why this fucking thing doesn't work. On the screen, I roll it, and it makes a straight line. But according to Einstein, if you go and have a star, that star will bend space time in that extra dimension that you can't see. So you can't see it bent up over there, but you can see it here. And that bent space time, if you roll the ball, see now it looks like it's going around and around that planet. So according to Einstein, there is no connection between the star and the planet. What you have is the star bending the fabric of space. And this little what Einstein said. I don't know said, what that had to do with anything. I can tell you right now no. that Einstein would have not been no fun to go have drinks and a beer or, uh, or dinner with. <laughs> you don't think so? Fuck no. Mm. He's, well, he's got a, I was trying to find his theory on space and time and how everything has to bend for you to be able to go through the wormhole to go teleport. That wasn't it, though. If, if you had, a cha- had, had to choose between <clears throat> having dinner with Ben Franklin or Albert Einstein, who would you go with? Ben Franklin. Me too, in a heartbeat. Yeah. Albert Einstein don't think he'd be no fucking fun at all. Just mm-hmm. learn about the I, I don't, founding. You know, I've never understood the theory of the gravity with uh, Isaac Newton. Fucking apple mean? fell off a tree. Oh, yeah, it fell. <clears throat> How's that like a big thing? All of a sudden, people are like, oh, my God. That apple fell. He's well, an they didn't know man. that it was a force. Well, it didn't float up. <clears throat> yeah, but they didn't. They he figured out the formula on how fast things fall and things. Well, people I, just people. It just was. They didn't have a name for it. Well, you give me a pen, pencil, and a paper and a clock, and I can do that with anything. That's so false. here's a, here's a fun theory, and I'll try to find it. If you put a watch on me, if you put a watch on on a mother and the baby at the same time. The clocks will be different, like it, even if they keep mm-hmm. perfect time. And I'm trying to think of how I can phrase this where it makes sense to me. That way, I don't butcher it. If the the clocks would keep perfect time, but w- the watches would be off, because time to the baby is different than time to the mother. What? Yep. Whew. Exactly. You're going way above my head on this. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not smart enough. And, I didn't I, and Einstein that. figured it. So here it is. Time is relevant. And I'll I'll thumb through this video because it's long. But <clears throat> you can just explain it to us. I fuck. I can't figure it. I can't explain it. I can barely understand it when it's explained to me. You said it though. <laughs> yeah, but I don't understand the damn thing about it. So so the times are same. Oh, fuck. Time dilation. Yes, time would be different. It, that's got on the left. That's Neil deGrasse, right? <laughs> yes. Super smart. I'm going to tell you, uh, you'll have the same effect on you. The stronger the gravitational field is, the slower time ticks for you. And that wasn't formulated until his general theory of relativity um, uh, 10 years later. That took a lot more math and and, and deeper insights into the universe. Well, once again, it makes sense because you're dealing with the fabric of space-time. It's the fabric of space-time, correct. So is he saying that the babies... Because the baby right, weighs less and it pulls a, a, a I'm, I'm li- thinking, lesser I'm, I'm sort of gravity. To do that. Time is different to each individual because each individual's weight is different, and your 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 pull on gravity is different. Is what he's saying. That's why that one. Oh, by the way, his original special theory of relativity was not called that. The title of the research paper was on the electrodynamics of moving bodies. Oh yeah. What? Okay, that was the, that was the title. We would later call it the special theory of relativity because it was a special case. Of what would later then be called the general theory of relativity. Oh, oh, what, what, while we're there, let me just slip this in. The GPS satellites orbit higher than our, um, than our, than like the space station and, right. and other things that are what we call low Earth orbit. Earth orbit. They're in like Neo, the middle Earth orbit. There's Leo, Neo, and Geo. Okay. If you have kids, maybe you name them that. <laughs> yes, Leo, Neo, and Geo. <laughs> let me back up one second. To, me, right. to you. So not only does speed do this, also the strength of a gravitational field completely. So I watch you fly by, and the faster you go, the slower time ticks for you. Okay? But my time stays the same. To you. To me. To you. There's an actual property 
of the fabric of space and time under those conditions. Okay, let's get off this shit. This <laughs> <laughs> so that would also have to do it. So the the mom's going to travel more or whatever. So travel, when you travel, your time is going slower to you, but it's going the same to me because you're going faster through the space, time, whatever. Continue. Continue. <laughs> I guess. Why are you talking to me about this? So this when so- I stay on the ground and you get in an airplane and you fly back and forth on your on all your travel, time has slowed down for you. It, it has takes stayed a long the, fucking it time. It stays the same for me. Okay. So I guess if you travel a lot, maybe you stay young longer. Well, that's why Jeff's doing it. Yeah, that's right. Saying because isn't that what he said? If you're going through space, if you're going through space fast, time if, slows down. If I win that lotto, I'm gonna be 32 in about a year because that's all I'm gonna do is travel. <laughs> But it's things like that. Like, there's so much about just this universe. Like, I didn't know that. Did you know that, little Josh? Hell no. No. It's it's. Had you ever even thought about that? It's yeah. fascinating, but it's... What does it have to do with me? Not a damn thing. It doesn't change my daily habits, my daily life, nothing. Now, what? the whole, you know... Hey, do we need anything? Did we win anything on our lottery tickets the other day? I don't know. They're over here. You need to check them out. How did you come across this? TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. You fall in those holes, Fine. man. You, 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 you watch, go down rabbit holes he on watches, TikTok. He watches more than just porn, Josh. You know, yeah, it's not, it's not just up. bouncing boobs on my TikTok. Like, yeah. there, is, there is a little bit of there's some, education. There's a some coxman like you should need to know this, you know? My favorite guy. Man. Hello, Mr. George. Hello, Mr. <laughs> George. Mr. George. That, that, a new worker? No good. That video you showed me yesterday of that guy beer. with the pipe? Yeah. It popped up on mine when I was scrolling See? through it yesterday. They listen to you. Gringo Mandingo. But, but what's crazy <laughs> is like, so there's there's problems like that that people have already figured out that I didn't know was a problem. No. And like, what's that's bad a, is, like that's a theory that, that Einstein created, I think. And I didn't even know that that was a thing that we would even conceptualize. And then the government is paying somebody millions of dollars a year in grants to figure to out shit it. like that. To study that shit. Yeah. Let's uh let's talk the the deal. We're gonna get Yoder on here in a minute. Let's talk about this now. There is a the, the lottery is gonna be worth three billion dollars right on Saturday or Wednesday, right? No, it's not three billion. I thought it was in the two, no, billion. Two, two billion. Two billion. In the cash, cash payout value is a billion dollars. Smith. Uh nine, what did I Wasn't say? Nine twenty nine or nine sixty nine? Yeah. Billion dollars. Nine sixty nine. Josh Moore, we're gonna go with you first. If you want a billion dollars, what are you doing? First, first of all, okay, the pot's two billion. Are you taking the cash option and going just a smidge under a billion one-time payment? Yes. Or are you going to get the whole two billion over thirty years? No, I'm going to take it all at once. Bingo. Because what if I die in three you, you weeks? Could, you could probably that money could be given to your relatives. I anyways. think it rolls to. I'm your... taking two billion dollars. I'm taking the cash option and I'm putting it in a trust for my grandkids. Yeah. Fuck my kids. Anyways, what are you doing with that money if you win two billion dollars? You get a billion dollars. What are you going to do? Honest to God, what do you think you would do? Probably just buy a badass piece of property and just go live in the middle of nowhere. By how yourself? Mu- how much would you give your family? I mean, I'd set my family up. I would expect that you're a nice guy. Whatever they need. You're serious? Like, I just, I'll just i pay your bills? Yeah. I mean, wherever they want to go. Nothing extra? I mean, just like, I'll pay it? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. You, I know that's what you're sounding like. I mean, asking, asking you shall receive. You get you got fuck off money there. I mean, that's enough to. Yeah. Man. How much is we were talking about this the other day? How much is fu money? Yeah, that's what kind, that is fu money? No, no, no. Yeah, what's, what's the threshold? I what's the starting fifty million dollars? Yeah, that's what we said. Anything 50 over fifty million. million. Yeah, fifty, 50 million. million is yeah. fifty money. million. If you get ten percent on it, you're getting four five million. You're getting four hundred thousand dollars a month back for the rest of your life, or for the rest yeah. of your kids, levels. kids, kids. There's lives. levels to all this. Yeah. I mean, a billion dollars. If you get nine hundred million, you fuck off two hundred million buying all kinds of property and all kinds of shit you want. You still have seven hundred million dollars yeah. to put in, and you're going to be getting seventy million dollars. You're going to get six th- six million dollars <laughs> a month back forever. Yep. There's so a, what there's are you a, what are you doing, Stoner? Well, probably pay off all my debts I have. Fuck them. I'd let them just call me. They yeah. <laughs> <laughs> paid shit off. Call me. Fucking pay my parents' debts. Tell them, you know, probably don't worry about going to work on next week. <laughs> just next um, week, though. Did your dad still know. go to work? No. He would find something to do, but he'd probably do it for free. You know, that's just, dad doesn't like sitting still. He likes I, doing stuff. I'd be doing a podcast next week, pulling yeah. that money because um, I like what I do. It was funny um, when I was growing up. The group of friends that I had, we always said we always talked about it because you know when I was in school, like 
high school or right after. That's when the Mega Millions or something first got up to like six, seven hundred million. Mm-hmm. We were like, man, what would you do? We all said, you know, don't tell anybody that you won. Right. Right. And then just send out like a text <laughs> or something to your closest friends and say, hey, I'm having dinner at my house Saturday night. I'd like for you to be there. Bring something. And whoever shows up and brings something and wants to be there and the people that don't. Those are the people. You, those are the pe- those are the friends that you set up. You know. I know who my off. I know who my friends are and the people that have done for me in my life, and I would remember every one of them. Everybody that's worked for me, I would take we talked about this before, I would take care. Yeah. I, I I would be very giving about shit. But I would still would do what I do because I'm You like know what to Jeff said our chalet would be a year? Fifty K. Fifty thousand. <laughs> I see for the ass. rest of your life, you get fifty thousand dollars a year for the rest of your life. Did, did you, you see uh, years, Mr. Beast? He's got a YouTube channel. He was handing out ten thousand dollars to kids trick or treating. Oh yeah, I did see that. Kids would come. He just throw ten grand into their basket, and one kid tried to give it back for like, no, I want, I want chocolate. <laughs> His parents were like, no, 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 no. Where's this guy live at? I don't know. He, he looked like it looked like he had a regular house. Like, it did you imagine like if Reese and Jameson there. came back with ten grand in there? Ten room? grand, I'd be like, where the fuck? Did you go? Reese would try <laughs> to give it back. Yeah, but he was handing out iPhones to like parents and stuff, and that's nice. He, though. he gets like. Five million and like a week or something off of YouTube, like something ungodly. But see, somebody like that is doing what they like to do. Though. That's what I, you need to find a happy place in your life, and that kind of money, you need to find something you enjoy doing. I don't think we're just not working ever again, and just counting your money is going to make anybody happy. I mean, I really don't. I think doing something you enjoy doing with that money, whether whether it's it's what well, I'd probably see if you wanted a partner in this. You and oh, oh, we'd make you a damn good deal. Okay. But 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 like banging I was supermodels. One point six million a month is what he makes from but YouTube. So if, I was if, wrong. If if you're happy chasing <clears throat> chasing chicks, then chase chicks. But find you something you like to do, and do it. You know, I like I like being in the hunt business. I would like to do it. I would like to build me a couple of different places. But it wouldn't have no pressure on me. But it would just be enjoyable. And I'd like for the people that I like to be around to do it. But I don't. I, I I would not be one of those people that's gonna tell my boss to go fuck off and not ever gonna go to work again. Because what would you do? <laughs> you would lose shit. your mind. I would. Yeah, I couldn't oh, yeah. imagine not just. I mean, just not having nothing in your life that's structured. And he said yesterday, he said if I win tonight, and he said fucking Tony's gonna have to go to goose hunting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm driving to Austin. <laughs> I think you'd still guide hunts and be doing this. I really do because you enjoy. I don't it. think your he guide hunts anymore. He might not got a hunt, but he'd still be doing. this He'd kind do of what stuff. you do. Yes. And that'd be good because he'd be putting me on a fund where I could do what I wanted to do, which would still be right here. No, <laughs> that, all this shit. that ain't. How I it would works. put you on a fund, but I, uh, this place would probably be for sale. There wouldn't be any land to hunt out here because, like, <laughs> you know, I'm buying it all. Yeah, Andy putting, Shaver, putting, putting water on everything. County. Putting water on everything is what I'm going to do. Where Where would you go? Where would you buy your first piece of property? Out here, I said Montana. Oh, I don't want to talk, I don't talk about anything be. out here. Let's just skip this area. Well, no. I, if I was buying a place somewhere else, I would buy me a place in the Dakotas or Montana, and then I would, the first place I would buy me a home, would be on the. Uh, would you say I could report? Probably Kenny, Kenny Buckport, somewhere Kenny in Maine. Buckport. I'd be somewhere in Maine. I'd buy me a house on a yeah. point where I've got I'll ocean on one day. side and bay on another, and have me a boat and a, about a ten bedroom house where my all my grandkids and kids could come and. I'd be here. I, this is the asshole move I'd have if I want it. I would have a deal. My kids would be on a good salary, but the salary would be they have to come see us a lot and bring the grandkids. That's the only thing. I don't think you'd have a problem with that. I don't think so either, but that's the deal I'd say. I'd have a private jet that would come pick them up and take them. Ollie Dog would fly with me to where we go to in Maine, and Ollie Dog would be living there. But that, that's that's the only thing that I would want is I'd want to spend it with my family and the friends that I like. Yeah. And that's the and, and I know who my real friends are. And I think it would be, wouldn't it be so neat to be able to go to eat at a restaurant, a diner, and to leave a five hundred dollar cash tip or something for some lady that's a waitress or something? Man, there was a bastard. That's it. <laughs> there was a there was a point in time in my life where I'd like go to the bar, get really drunk, and my tab would be like a hundred bucks, and I'd leave two hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking. Yeah. Now, mm, not Mm-mm. so much. But that would, but, but but that kind of money that would be nice. Could you imagine yeah. a single mom that works at a diner and you leave a five hundred, well, a thousand? There's a guy you ever seen him on, on TikTok? TikTok? Greatness or whatever is what he calls uh, himself, Mister Greatness or something like that. He goes to just random restaurants and just finds, you know, he's like, "What's what's your story?" You're a talk to him. He's all ten. He's up. like, uh, he says, pick a number between like one and ten, and it'll be they'll say six, and it could be six hundred bucks or six thousand bucks that'll leave him. Shaq yeah. asks people how much they want. 
How much do you want? How much do you want? <laughs> That's it. That's a tough you deal because you don't want to seem like a greedy bastard. Right. Has anybody ever said like $10,000? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. I'll look. Does up. he leave them whatever they say they yeah. want? Well, how much you want? And he's worth a half a billion dollars. He's a good dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he says he doesn't drink in public because he doesn't want to do anything to jeopardize his mom's uh, way of life. Good for him. His what did he say? His mom's empire or something yeah, like that. Something like, you saw the same video. Yeah, yeah. He's a good dude though. He's yeah, really he kids. It'd be fun to hunt here, but we'd have fucking have a double stack mm. a frame to fit his ass in. But it seems like a good deal. I'm gonna tell you, I don't like the NBA. Nothing he left about the NBA. A, he left somebody a four thousand dollar tip. But the, but the the uh. The show that's got Kenny Smith, him, and Charles Barkley on. I watched oh, clips of it. It's funny those guys shit. are hilarious. Like the other day, he he bet uh, Charles Barkley. He said, "I bet you can't spell electrician." <laughs> 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 or some, it was some word like that. I can't remember what it was, but it's like I'll give you ten thousand dollars if you can spell electrician. He said, "Chuck, yeah, I'll bet yeah. you ten thousand you can't spell electrician." Uh, e, F. Can I spell it out? Nope. You can't spell it. <laughs> well, can I write it down? No. Nope. <laughs> and I can't remember what the word was, uh, but it was it was something like that. But I like that kind of stuff. They're funny as shit. Yeah, they're good. But yeah, that, that's good to see people that give back. Yeah. How much you want? You want to get you want to get Yoder on here? Yeah. Let's, we yeah, have let's get Yoder on here. What time is it? Uh, twenty till. Okay. Get over here, y- Yoder. <laughs> I can see. Shot. Thanks, everybody. How much you want? How much you want? Would you like uh, ten or fifteen thousand dollars? <laughs> Yoder man, the Michigan State fan. No, right? Michigan, <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> no. Did your grandma text you yesterday? Your Lions beat my Packers. You said your grandma, if the Packers win, you'll be hearing from her. Didn't hear from her. No. Oh, she a Packer fan? Yeah, big time. Like, she's talk, even got a she cheese head. She she's got a cheese head, and every Sunday that the Packers play. She gets really. Excited. She's been right, sad okay, like me. She's gonna have a miserable next couple of years, I think, unless they sign Jimmy Garoppolo or somebody. Yeah. I like the Steelers gonna be. Yeah, be all both. It's gonna be a miserable no, year for we're Pittsburgh. Race, and we're Green racing Bay. to the bottom. So mm-hmm. let me ask you something, Yoder. You got your woman now. Yep. And what's her name? Morgan. Morgan, and she works for you. Well, not for me. She works for your dad. Yeah. Do you, can you sign the checks there? No. You can't. Who's no. gonna be in line to sign checks after your dad's gone? Right, me. You. So she's going to be working for you. Oh, she is. Yeah. Have you noticed Michelle bitch at me a lot of times some days? Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Y'all heard that. So we can tell Michelle that Sometimes. at times. So did you... she get a pay raise when she started dating you? No. 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 Are so you going she to? Should. Is she like, she is, should. He said, is that's she... strictly business. Whoa. You said she should. Your dad is like, shut the hell up. You're son. giving away my money, boy. <laughs> yeah. Just for her having to deal with me. Oh. So what are you doing to her? Nothing. Well, you said dealing with you. Do you do you stop your job a lot to go flirt with her a lot? No. No, never. No. How did, did y'all start dating? From work. She texted me when I was on my way home from Texas last year. And said, I can't wait to see you in the office? No. What'd she say? She just said, Send me a picture Pat. of your penis? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> she said, just safe travels. Oh, okay. oh, and you knew right then that, hmm, this one's interesting. Or no, she was probably like, hey, your dad's You didn't think answering. that at all? You no. just like, so how did you come up on this first date? Did you hem haul a long time about it? Was yeah. you nervous? Yeah. So what, what, tell us about it. First date. First date? Yes. <laughs> we haven't really been on a date because Yoder. her and I both don't like to go like places. Yeah, like, so have y'all been alone, though, places? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Y'all so, are dating. You are exclusive. Yes. Okay. But you don't go nowhere. Not I mean, really. a date. God, a date. I mean, we'll a get a load of money. We'll get like takeout dinner and. Okay, but that's a date. Hey, that's, that's a, a date. date. Chinese yeah. and Netflix, like that's that's yeah. a date. You don't have to go to a restaurant, sit no, down, no, 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 do all that. That's not. you no. cheap bastard. So, what was your <laughs> first date then? Now that you know the parameter, what was it? We got Applebee's. Applebee's, you got a delivery. <laughs> Come on, son. Hey, what's wrong with Applebee's? Hub. You like bacon and onions because that's all they have at Applebee's. They oh, give it to you with an ice cream sandwich. Yeah. You did Grubhub. Grubhub no, Applebee's. No, we went, we went and picked it up. There's okay. one like yeah. five minutes from our. house. Did y'all watch TV at your house or something? At her house, yeah. At her house. Ooh. Yeah, she lived by herself? Yeah. She does. So what What? What? what movie y'all watch? It's the first thing y'all watched on TV. Tell us uh, about the we first watched... date. Striptease. No. No. We watched <laughs> yeah. uh, Chicago Fire, I think. Good, oh, okay. good show. I've never Net, seen it. An NBC show? Yep. Yeah, not a Chicago bad show. Chicago Med's really good, too. That's what we watched. Chicago Med. That's a good show. Yep. Is that like her show? Like, she watches it a lot, and she well, was like, hey. Until Netflix took it down, but yeah. Oh. But so, she liked it. Yeah. She was like, "Hey, yeah. let's order Applebee's, and I'll turn on Chicago Med." Yeah, nice. Did so you did you splurge for dessert with her? No, we didn't get any dessert. Oh, you cheap fucker! Come on. I asked her if she wanted any, but 
Yeah, you know, you're just doing what she wants to do. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Y- y'all are serious now. Y'all been dating for three or four months? Seven. Seven Se- or eight. Seven. What's yeah. y'all's typical date night? Like if About like that. Apple every, how often Netflix. do y'all do that? Two or three times a week. What do you do the other nights? Uh, it depends. Sometimes I have to help my dad. Do, so, do, does she come to your parents to have dinner often? She did. Before I left, we had early Thanksgiving dinner at my house, and she came over. So I you, mean, obviously, your parents like her. Your dad yeah. hired her, and you know, yep. she's how long has she worked for your company? I want to say a year and a half. So she so. she came to work there right out of high school. She had a job at a pizza place, and then she was working at a pizza place, and then at my dad's shop, and then she quit the pizza place. And now Does her mom work for your dad, too? Yep. That's what I thought you were telling me. Yep. So what's her mom think about you sniffing around her daughter? She likes me. If I, I had a daughter, you have all these fuckheads in here, <laughs> Logan would be, be the, the first one, one yeah. I'd yeah. Yeah. Josh Moore, after we've heard all his tales? No. I Hell thought, no. I tell him all the time, like, Yoder, I wish I was as pure as you still are. <laughs> yeah. Just there's, that's a good kid. That, yeah. That your parents did a hell of a job with you. And her mom is probably happy that you're dating her daughter. Yep. So are you going to marry this girl, you think? We'll see. Yeah, Jeff. I mean, it's my too, goodness. Uh, I mean, He's been dating all, seven uh, months. Wow. Have y'all kissed each other? Yeah. Okay. So it's getting serious. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. And just I'm going to leave it that, okay? Because okay. I'm just going to let this go. Okay. But I like you. So you just you know okay. that. Okay? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like you too, but you're too much fun to fuck with over there, Josh. <laughs> so... So uh, she works with your dad. Your parents like her. Yep. Her, her parents like you. Yep. It's kind of like an arranged marriage type deal coming on here. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Little Yoder's he coming is, around. He is a little Yoder. Yeah. A little Yoder running around. So you'll be running your dad's business one day, you said. Does yeah. your dad know this, or is he going to learn yeah. all about this all um, right now? He, was, he wasn't real sure about it. Real Why? sure about letting you I, run it? I, I wasn't sure about it. Oh, Because you'd I rather know, do this. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What does your girlfriend think about you being down here for this month, this long, three months? She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. No. But Are you're you the getting... man of our relationship, and you're the boss, right? <laughs> I mean i I told her that I was coming down here before we started actually dating. Right. So I was like, Well, yeah. She texted you on the way home from it last year. Yeah. Right. She so knows. She knows. Yeah. yeah. You said, Woman, I'm doing what I want to do. And, and that's the way it's going to be. You have to be the man and the boss if you or the relationship. If you don't start it now, I've told everybody before. <laughs> fucking when you after you've been married ten years, it's hard to ask to go hunting after you haven't done it for ten years. That's that's like the girl I'm dating now. I told her like I was like, hey, living in Nebraska, farm, go down to Texas, guide. That's it. This is that's how it is. Like don't get any surprises about it. So is she going to come yeah. see us this year? No. Why not? Why? Fly her to Abilene. Yeah. I don't know if she will. Do that. She's never she's never traveled before. Do it like the last week of season and she can ride home with you. No. Then you got somebody to to talk to on your ride home. And you want her to meet me, I know. I mean that would be the great thing ever. (laughs) Stoner, your woman's coming to Mexico with us, right? She is. Yes. Why don't y'all want you to take your girl and go to Mexico? Uh, I'm not big on going to Mexico. Have you been been to Mexico? Uh, How do you know you're not big on it? I just heard stories. What'd you hear story wise? Like it's just like what? Chaos. No. No. Chaos Shit. All, all of us here. You go to fucking Detroit? No. You've never been to Detroit? <laughs> I don't mind it. You've never been to Detroit? I've been to Detroit. Then, then Mexico's better than Detroit. I've been to Detroit like twice. Yeah. Yoder, I mean, Yoda goes seen... and shoots pool in eight mile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can come to, to Mexico. It's nice. Except for when they shoot up the airport. Then it gets a little scary. <laughs> yeah. But that happens in Detroit. So see? There yeah. you go. Yeah, but luckily we fly into Cozumel. We don't yes, this year we did. Cancun. Yep. That fucking airport. What, Cosmail or Cancun? Cancun. That was a little yeah. hectic getting in there last year. Oh, it was. I forgot about that. Where everybody we landed. We had a fender bender. That's right. Yeah, no shit. Going back, <laughs> we did. Our fucking bus we got did. in. <laughs> fucking yeah. seven lanes of traffic and then boom. God <laughs> we got a, We got it walked. Yeah, they were talking to one another. <laughs> you know, like neither one of them's got insurance. Yeah. Like they're just yelling at one another. I don't but, know, but that one guy we had when we took that bus to the uh the catamaran that's yeah. pretty cool yeah when everybody was sick and throwing up all them girls were throwing up i was up oh front and that girl says i think i'm throw up wipes so i got the back <laughs> I'm good. you're now sitting up front yeah. you said right up here by that window because do not if you throw up in here i'm going throw it too so that's good so you excited about season yeah you've done a good job if you enjoy did you pull josh through today you think i'm gonna say it was a team effort okay that's a good answer then what's crazy is yoder 
has not he didn't sleep like the four days before <laughs> I didn't sleep for four kids. days before hunting season started. Did not sleep a wink. Opening morning rolls around. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's ten minutes to us leaving. <laughs> Josh Moore is not in. Yoder is not in. And no, it was fifteen minutes before. It was it doesn't 12. if it was fucking ten, 12. fifteen or twenty. Slept in. Your guys were looking for you and asking me questions, and I'm like, I swear he's going to be here any minute. He's getting the trailer, and he'll be here. Ben, or was it Lawson? Which one of you saved the day? It was Ben. He's like, well, because I text Josh. (laughs) Ben called Josh. Nobody's answering their phone. So Ben goes over there. You guys going to hunt? Yeah, Bob. (laughs) Yoder's fully dressed, (laughs) sleeping in bed. I was ready. Like 2.30, I guarantee you. Like He was trying and just nodded off and... Didn't hear anything. <laughs> Josh Moore, I said to him, I said, listen, I'm going to set some rules right here. Be on fucking time from now on, okay? Yeah, no shit. And he's like... Have a little bit of professionalism. Like, I didn't I sleep mean, in on purpose. No shit. Well, nobody nobody ever does. Does. I don't think anybody I think ever I'm does. I'm going to sleep right. in and be like, missed through my alarm. I, knew, I, I wasn't listen, worried about you guys. I can understand if it's January 20th. <laughs> yes. yes and you the fucking fuck out. sleep not in opening, a little. Not opening morning. Not the first guy in the morning. That's what I told myself. I was like, this is not... <laughs> This is not right. Yoder's not usually good. the first one waiting for us yeah. when I come over. I'm glad this is the second year, not the first year. The first year, Tony, like, we got problems. Yeah. Like, them guys Could you imagine that being first day last year? Oh. No. We'd have been like, what did we hire? Yes, that's exactly right. Well, I don't know if I'd be here. I probably just left. Ah. Nah. <laughs> We're forgiving. Some of the people we had last year. You no, know, it's good. the bedazzled dre- jeans guy from four years ago that slept right. in that time. And then, like, yeah, I saw any of them drive away. What'd you do? I went back to bed. I already left. <laughs> Already left, so I went back to bed. Thought, God almighty. Because anyway, I mean the thing is, like, we know it's not gonna be a habit. So no. you're I'm, good. I'm I can tell you right now, personnel wise, I'm not worried about anybody. Nothing at all. Everything that the thing I worry about is the things we can't control. The things we can control around here, we're good, and the guys we can control. We're gonna be a good time in a good season. I don't have a bunch of drunks working for me. I well, got a bunch of people that are uh I hardly drink anymore. No, but I don't have anybody. I don't worry about anybody. No, I don't worry yeah, about any of that. I don't worry about anybody being rude or complain. I mean, I just don't worry about anything like that. If someone comes to me and says, I got a problem and it's a client, I'm going to think, yeah, it's probably a client problem and not a guide problem. I'm going to listen to them, but I'm not worried about anything stupid. Yeah. And after that, Josh Moore will do something stupid tomorrow. Just don't cuss in front of preachers. Or sleep with one of my clients and some shit like that. You know how that shit goes. I do know how that goes. All right, we all good? I think we got everything. So. All right, I want to thank everyone for listening to us. I want to thank our sponsors that are part of this. It's gonna be a, We're going to do a lot of roundtables. We'll get into in deep on some things and talk about things. But anyway, just kind of kind of do a round the shit roundtable for the first of the year, and nobody's really screwed nothing up real bad, including Josh Moore yet. Lots of good <laughs> stories. <laughs> to win. Yep. Thank you all for listening to us. God bless you all, and have a great week. Everybody, you need to go check out our wonderful sponsors. You need to go set up a HuntProof app. Request me to be your friend. I want to be your friend. Alpha Outdoor Specialty, Bangtail Whiskey, Dirty Duck Coffee, Ducks Unlimited, Double T British Kennels, Looking Glass Podcast, Lucky Duck, Shin Gear Waiters, Gundog Outdoors, Pacific Calls, Dive Bomb Industries, and Boss Shot Shows.